Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's OK Mall. Today we're covering the final part to the Devlog Caravan upgrades. Now this one is going to be covering uh, communication. I have no idea what this is. I've been at work all day and I want to uh, go over this together with you guys. So today's Devlog again is going to conclude the topic of Caravan upgrades. And interesting fact, Caravan upgrades are not of abilities. Yeah, we already know that. They're not abilities, they don't take your skill points or their ability points or whatever to unlock them. They're literally just materials and items. Uh, the main focus is staying in touch with civilization. Let's take a closer look at what this entails. Now, there are, what, one, two, three, four, five, six of these. The first one's going to be the Caravan Banner, a symbol of fellowship and hope. Requirements, a foldable flagpole. Well, you get the idea. The effects. Adds a flagpole to the caravan camp that can be used to raise banners found in dungeons or while exploring the world. Oh, so you, okay, so the banner would be found in a camp and you just, you, you hoist it. What's the point of it though? Like, is it just like a visual? Oh, right there, it's telling us right now. Uh, reputation gain? Ooh, that's fancy. And fatigue resistance. So all banners raised will slightly increase your reputation gain and also provide some additional benefits. For example, the wolf banner will grant you a bit of pain resistance, while the owl banner will grant you experience gain. That's cool. Okay. Then we have messenger pigeons. Uh, messenger pigeons are trained to return home regardless of the distance, even if said home never stays in one place for too long. The effect of this... Uh, allows to take a carrier pr pigeon with you while not in immediate danger the pigeon will be released to send a message to Varen which will open the caravan's travel menu allowing you to move the god dang caravan let's go I know personally like walking around is a pain um I know you guys are feeling this as well it is a pain in the butt to move the ca uh, to just walk anywhere in this game it takes so long if you're doing tier 4 dungeons Holy cow, if you're not speeding the game up using Cheat Engine, what are you doing with your life? It still takes a long, long time to travel from, let's say, Osbrook to a Tier 4, or uh, from Bryn all the way to the right side of the map, or sorry, left side of the map. It's it's a chore, okay? I'm glad they, they, they're they adding a messenger pigeon to say, hey, Baron, come pick us up. <laughs> we don't want to be here no more. Fantastic. Uh, we have Old Favors. Uh, Varen has lots of uh, acquaintances. Many of them still remember the old friend and won't mind vouching for him for the right or to the right people. The effect of this one is uh, killing enemies near settlements will improve your reputation by 20% of the received experience. Oh, that's <laughs> again we're gonna gain reputation a little bit easier than just doing contracts. And what else does it say? Increases the time limit for contracts by one day. Um, that's cool. I like that. There are, there has been some occasions down in Bryn, especially Bryn's contracts are usually like three, possibly four days. And there have been some instances where it's been it, either the, uh, the dungeon has upgraded on us and it's taken us quite a few trips to go back and forth. And then we're just kind of stuck there trying to knock it out before it cancels out or whatever. So I like that a little extra time to do your contracts. Uh, the web of contacts. The war made people's allegiance is crystal clear. Uh, it's good fame is much more valuable right now than gold. The effect of this one is 50% more reputation when completing contracts and settlements affected by negative situations. What do you mean negative situation? What does that mean? At any rate, it grants 5% reputation gain for each settlement you've achieved respect with. Well, why would you, if you're already respected, why do you need more reputation gain? The common cause reputation perk now works all the way up to Amity instead of Benevolence. Okay, that one's confusing to me. Uh, local informants, rumor has it, a rumor and hearsay are not to be brushed aside. What at first may appear to be empty talk can eventually pa uh, pave a path to riches. This one's going to decrease the chance of being ambushed by 25%. So setting up the caravan camp reveals the location of all points of interest within five tiles. That's interesting. Reveals some of the ongoing settlement situations and dungeon modifiers, showing them in the global map hovers. This is uh, confusing to me. Because do they mean just the ambush that would happen 
when you're just walking around the map, or does it mean that your caravan has a potential of getting ambushed? That's what I think this means, is that our caravan could potentially get ambushed, attacked, or whatever. We'll, f we'll have to find out when the game, uh, when this update finally uh, drops. Next up is trade preferences. In these uncertain times, most folks aren't brave enough to continue trading. Their loss might as well become someone's gain. This one affects 10% uh, trade favorability when buying or selling commodity goods. Uh, selling commodity goods and settlements improves your reputation. Again, this is another thing to just increase our reputation. Hell, we're going to be merchants before we know it. Uh, by 5% of the received sum. 15% if a settlement is affected by a negative situation. What do they mean by a negative situation? Is that like your reputation's in a negative? Or does that mean like settlements can get attacked or have some sort of, let's say a plague going through their village or something? Is that a negative situation? Okay, that's that's confusing to me and also exciting. But these are some of the trade goods. That's really cool. So making money should be much easier than constantly going in and out of dungeons. But that's all for now. The devlog will be dedicated to global. The next devlog. Holy cow. When is this update going to drop? So there's a previous devlog. I can't remember what it was. We covered it, but it was like devlog part one. There hasn't been a part two yet. And then here we are with map changes as another devlog. Y'all, we might not see this update till the end of the year. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. Including a new settlement of the Grand Magistrate, which they kind of, uh, this is, should be Denbre, I believe. I was kind of excited considering that this is the final part, the caravan uh, devlog, that we might be that much closer to a uh, to this patch being dropped. But considering they're going to be dropping more devlogs. Oh boy, this this might be a while, chat. This might be a very, very long time before we actually have this um, this update. I mean, I'm excited for it nonetheless. It's just, I was expecting, I don't know, this month maybe. I, that's my hope and my dream was maybe this month, maybe the month after, but it might be another five, six months down the road. <laughs> if they're seeing how long it takes them to get our debt, like to release devlogs. Oh, uh, at any rate, leave me a comment down below. Um, I think this is a pretty good needed update. This is, a uh, you know, communication, how having all these little buffs, making reputation not as much of a chore to increase so long as you're killing enemies, hell, even selling goods for that matter. And the fact that you can summon Varen uh, when you're out and about. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I was worried that we would have to uncover the map first and then walk all the way back to Varen and say, hey, Varen, by the way, we discovered this area like, I don't know, 16 tiles away. It took me, I don't know, a whole hour of walking just to go back to Varen and tell him to come over here to our area. No, no, no. You walk there. You say, hey, bro, come on down. I like that. That's that's awesome. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, but at any rate, y'all have a good day. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this channel with your friends and family. I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.